Hello Aquarius, welcome to your couples in connection reading for the month of July. Let's take a look and see what the overall energy is here. We've had some startling readings, that's for sure. Passion and pleasure, woo hoo hoo, I like it. All right, you are starting out waking up on this Sunday morning, if you're in the United States, uh, to a really nice energetic feeling of your lover's arms. Distant thunder, though, clear the air. There is something that the two of you need to talk about. It is something that I don't think you've discussed, but it does present some sort of warning shot to the relationship. So be sure you talk. We'll find out what it is, hopefully. Gates of triumph, look at you. Success expands in your life. So that could be personally expands. It could be professionally. But we're, what we're getting here is that you're expanding as a couple. So very triumphant period of your life. Nice energy. So let's see what your couple's energy is here. So for the sign of Aquarius, ruled by Uranus, lots of uh, Pluto's just gone into your sign. Very long cycle of uh, dramatic changes. It will be very positive. Aquarius. Okay. In the recent past, the two of you have been very, very quiet, keeping to yourselves, not saying much. We do hear the distant thunder. So in the middle of passion and pleasure, both of you are very aware that you need to discuss something. The queen of wands energy can be another person in a connection, but it also is the fire. You, you, the two of you have fire in your belly. You love the idea of a power couple. You love the idea that both of you are very good at what you do professionally, that you're successful, that you look great. You know, when you go out as a couple, you, you turn heads. Your person is feeling decidedly guarded. Your person is feeling as though as they look at the situation, they are guarded but optimistic. They have fire in their belly. They see you as someone who's all over the internet. <laughs> they see you as someone who's constantly looking at their phone, Aquarius. Of course, you're an air sign, but they do see you as someone who takes risks, who on very little information sometimes can make a choice. So there's a little discomfort there that they have. Four of Swords in their heart space, they feel very wounded. Your person is feeling like something has happened here that has made them put up their walls. They definitely feel as though you're not on the same page. But oh my God, the way they view the, the relationship in the future is that you're going to be together. So even if you're having some distance right now and you aren't together all the time, I'm getting that this person wants to grow old with you. They love you. They want to make an offer. They want to show you a great amount of affection. Um, you know, you've known each other probably uh, for some time. This is a relationship with some depth and width, some width, depth, and absolutely a lot of warmth and love here in the connection. The mutual energy between the two of you, though, right now, oh, my gosh, the death card. You, The two of you do not know how to get this relationship up and going. And even though I'm going to say something, I have not said this at all during these in connection readings. But this feels as though you're in connection, but not actively with each other. I'm getting that you're not talking right now because we have the hermit card, it shows that both of you want to speak to each other. So I would say this is a connection that you may think is finished, but it's temporary because death and rebirth is coming along here. The advice is don't look at the, cuff, the cups that are empty. Look at the cups that are full. An apology is needed here from one to the other. The energy of both of you is that at this period of time, you both feel very underwater. You're feeling the depth of despair with one another. You're feeling as though there's just no way for the, for the two of you to keep the relationship together. Let's see what we have. What's the truth here? I'm so attracted to you. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Queen of Wands. 
I hid who I really am from you. Okay, so that could be either one of you, probably both of you. And I'm not available. Okay, so yeah, you could really see that this relationship is struggling here. You know, underwater, feeling alone, feeling like when you're together, it's just for show. You know, the Queen of Wands is all about the show. So let's see what we have here. Why is the hermit card here? Because both of you in the recent past have gone quiet with each other. Let's see what we have. Nine of Cups. Eat, drink, be merry, have fun, passion and pleasure. All right. So the Queen of Wands, why is it here? Oh, okay. Both of you are in this energy. This is mutual energy. So what we're seeing here is that this relationship has been more of an affair and more of a physical relationship than a grounded kind of love relationship. So the attraction is off the charts. The groundedness is absolutely not here. I don't even see a coin here. I haven't seen any coins. Let's see the nine of wands. Ooh, look at that queen of wands, queen of wands. So you have this absolutely over the top, dynamic physical attraction. Let's see. Distant thunder, though. Why is a page of swords here? Your person feels as though you're bored with them. They just feel like you, you know, you, you don't really care if you're working things out with them. The four of swords, they are very depressed. The hanged man, they're waiting to hear from you. Why is the hanged man here for a beautiful Aquarius friends? The eight of cups, they feel as though you forced them to walk away, but they didn't really walk away. They're still upside down looking over at you. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we have here. Five of wands. Your person feels super conflicted, riled, agitated. Like what the hell happened? Why is Aquarius not really dealing with me or speaking with me? Six of cups. Your person is watching you on the internet. They're studying every move you make. The strength card, their passion, their desire, their respect is not going anywhere. They desire you as much as they ever have. They feel as though you're moving ahead without them. They feel as though you're definitely leaving them behind. The death card. So it does look like there's a death of a long-term committed relationship. This is the hidden energy between the two of you is that marriage is not possible. The death card tells me that, that both of you think that you know, whoever wants this marriage the most definitely feels like it's just no bueno, not going to work, not going to happen. The energy of the five of cups for you, Aquarius. Very intense reading here. Very intense is the emperor card. Well, you're taking your authority. You know, you're listening. You you know what you know. And at the end of the day, you don't want to be sad. And so the energy here says stay in your boss mentality and let this person level up or let the relationship level up if it's going to. The moon card says that both of you feel very safe in singlehood and a you Aquarius, especially six of coins. Both of you, there's the first grounded energy that I see is that nine of pentacles and six of coins. So the two of you together don't look like you have a lot of glue that helps you stay together. What I get is that it's a very, very passionate connection. And no matter what you do or what you say, it looks as though the passion is always there. It's This looks like an on-again, off-again relationship for many of you with that Knight of Wands. But I have to say, Aquarius, you might be more the Knight of Wands than this other person is. You may be the person who is, um, you know, in the energy of not necessarily wanting to settle into the life that they have or whatever they want. Okay, so let's see what your advice is. The Nine of Pentacles, oh my God, stay single. Okay, well, you know, just because you're in connection doesn't mean you have to get married. But what I am seeing is spirit is saying, stay in your power, enjoy your life, that at the end of the day, that this connection is a three of cups. It's a beautiful friendship that, you know, you can enjoy over the years, give it its due, you know, but 10 of swords for romance, the sacred fire, let your expectations go about what this can be in your future. All right. Thanks so much, Aquarius. Leave comments. Thank you. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Bye-bye.